Workers digging a new railway terminal unearth a grisly discovery in London. They discovered 3,000 skeletons from a medieval cemetery that was located under the new terminal. The burial site contains many victims from the Great Plague that decimated the city's population during the 1600s. Archaeologists are now moving the bones to a new burial site. Burger King has removed fountain drinks from its kids' menu. Instead of soft drinks, the BK menu for kids will offer fat-free milk, low-fat chocolate milk, and apple juice. You can still purchase a soft drink, but it's not listed on the kids' meal menu. Child health advocacy groups have been pressuring fast food chains to make the switch. Tiger Woods' latest project is a restaurant in Jupiter, Florida, but the man overseeing it says the place won't be named after the celebrity golfer. The developer says Nike owns the rights to Tiger Woods' full name, and he can't use it. Woods himself can't use his own full name without approval from the Athletic Corporation. The developer said he had to get permission just to use the golfer's name in a press release. And they're off. The annual Iditarod trail sled dog race is underway in Alaska. Participants embarked on their 1,000-mile trek across the state Monday. The finish line is in Nome on Alaska's western coast. The first to reach it wins $70,000. A Massachusetts family has taken some of the snow that has fallen in their area and put it to use. The McGaff family in Roslindale built this igloo after a blizzard in January. But instead of watching it melt, more snow has fallen and they have been adding to it ever since. Their igloo now has four rooms. The family says they invited friends and neighbors over for a party last weekend and hosted 30 people inside. There you go, five things to know before you go to bed.